Benjamin, how many did you get right? None. You think he gets one? Hey girl, you're the dumbest kid in the world. So what happened? You weren't meant to be a failure, Bennett. And you can control your temper, but and you can bring your grades up too, I know you can. I'm dumb, mother! No, you ain't. You a smart boy. You just ain't using that smartness. Now, if you keep getting grades like that, you're gonna spend the rest of your life mopping floors in a factory, and that ain't the life I want for you. You boys watch too much television. You gonna go to the library and pick out two books, and at the end of the week, you're gonna hand me a written report about what you read. You cannot possibly survive it on television! Well, you're gonna start now. Why you waste all that time watching the TV? If you use that time to develop your God-given gifts, wouldn't be long before folks was watching you on TV. I want you both to learn your times tables. Oh, what? No way. You can do it. That can take a year. It won't take my boys a year. You're smart. Magnitude. M-A-G-N-I-T-U-D-E. Magnitude. Benjamin. Benjamin. I didn't cheat. I didn't say you did. What's your score? 24 out of 25. Lacquer. L-A-C-Q-U-E-R. Lacquer. That is correct. Yes! Yes! The certificate for the student with the highest academic achievement in the eighth grade goes to Benjamin Carson. <laughs> takes a seat, I have a few words I want to say. Benjamin is a boy of color. He has no father in his life. He comes to us with tremendous disadvantages. There's no reason you shouldn't have done better than him. What's wrong with you kids? You're not trying hard enough. You should be ashamed. Yale's too much for me. What am I doing here anyway? You got a scholarship. You were third in your class. Yeah, and everybody else here graduated first. My grades are lousy, <laughs> especially chemistry. If I don't pass this final exam, I lose my scholarship, which means I can't be a doctor, whoa, which is the whoa, only thing slow I... down. What are you good at? Huh? What are you good at when it comes to studying? What works best for you? I don't know. Reading. I'm good at reading. If all I ever did was read, I'd be just fine. Instead, I gotta sit through all these boring lectures eight hours a day. Skip the lectures. The professors don't care. That'll only make things worse. They can't be any worse than they are now. Hey, what do I know? Maybe I'm just... No, 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 no. Oh, you're, you're right. What, 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 what? I got an A. <laughs> Johns Hopkins accepts only two students a year for new surgery. We're late. Mr. Schwartz in 301 needs to be taken to surgery now. Oh, no, I'm not an orderly. I'm the new intern. Oh, uh, report to Dr. Farmington for rounds. This young man has a disease called von Hippolinda. It's very rare and causes multiple tumors throughout the brain. He has his second surgery tomorrow and it will most likely cripple him. Carson, draw some blood. Uh, doctor, according to his charts, he may be anemic. I don't think... Well, I don't care what you think. You do as I say. Don't think you're special, Carson, simply because there's no one like you in this department. You don't change your attitude, I'll get you kicked out of neurosurgery faster than you say yassa. Are you finished? Yes. Fine. He was hit with a baseball bat, he's deteriorating rapidly. Please tell him that all the neurosurgeons at Hopkins are away at a conference. 
I am a resident. It is illegal for me to operate without an attending physician present. I can't reach Dr. Farmington. And I can't reach Dr. Udverhai. If someone doesn't operate on this man soon, he will die. Scalpel. Foley. Bipolar. You operated on this man without permission, without supervision. You put this hospital in serious legal jeopardy. Had this man died, your career would have been over. You did very well, Dr. Carson. I congratulate you on taking the proper action in spite of its possible consequences. Occipital craniopagus twins have never both survived a separation. Yeah. Please don't ask us to choose between them. The it is, in my opinion, the most amazing organ the human body holds. Your dreams are all possible because of three pounds okay, of gray matter. Separation? We can describe it physically, but that won't give a clue as to how it does what it does. Which is why I've devoted my life as a surgeon to probing its mysteries. How did you do that? Dedication and intelligence are the easy part. You also need an incredible hand-eye coordination, which is a gift. Anesthesia, how does it look? Give us a few minutes, man. Start the restructuring of the torcula. Peter. Doctor? Which child would you like to see first? <gasps> well, Stephen, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I believe we're all capable of performing miracles.